Hello friends, in this tutorial we will discuss how to calculate least common multiple of two numbers efficiently. So let's understand the definition of least common multiple or LCM first. So LCM of two numbers, let's say x comma y, is nothing but is the large, is the smallest integer which is divisible by both x and y. So let's consider one example. LCM of 3 comma 5 is equal to 15. This is because 15 is the smallest integer which is divisible by 3 as well as 5. Similarly, LCM of 3 comma 9 is 9 because 9 is the smallest integer which is divisible by 9 as well as 3. Now let's try to find out LCM of 3 comma 0. So now this is undefined because division of integers by 0 is undefined. So we can't find uh, find an integer which is divisible by 0 as well as 3. So from this examples it is very much clear what is the range of LCM. So least possible value of LCM is let's say you, you want to find out LCM of x comma y then least possible value of LC, LCM is maximum of x comma y and uh, greatest possible value of LCM is x into y. So for example here the here the least value is achieved whereas here the maximum value is achieved. So if you want to calculate LCM of any two numbers then what you can do in, in the simplest way you can consider all the integers which are which fall within this particular range and you need to check whether those integers uh, whether any of them divides x as well as y both then you are supposed to return that particular integer and you are supposed to start from maximum of x comma y and you need to go up to x into y and you need to check all the numbers in between and once you get uh, a number which divides x as well as y then that particular number is nothing but lcm of x and y so this particular approach uh, requires a lot of computation it requires in the worst case it uh, at least you need to perf in the worst case you need to perform a into b operations so uh, so in this particular case x into y operations so the question is can we do better so the answer is yes so first we will establish relation between lcm and gct and we will prove this particular relation is true and then we will implement this in python so let's understand this uh, relation first so this says this equation says lcm of x comma y is nothing but x into y divided by gcd of x into y so let's prove it so let's say so let's say d is nothing but gcd of x comma y so if this is true then what we can do we can write x as multiple of d similarly we can also write y as multiple of d and if you can observe then a and b are of special type what is the speciality of a and b a and b will be relatively prime relatively prime is they don't have any common factors because if they have if they have any common factor then ultimately we can increase the value of d so which will be the contradiction so here a and b are relatively prime and you we can represent x as multiple of d and we can also represent y as multiple of d so now let's substitute this value in this equation so ultimately we will get this d into a into d into b divided by d so we can write like this if we simplify then we can say that lcm of x comma y is nothing but d into a into b and now if i club this first two terms then i will get d into a into b so now d into a is nothing but x so we can say that lcm of x comma y is nothing but x into b so this is nothing but we are saying that whatever we are getting is multiple of x Similarly, uh, we can, what we can do since multiplication is uh, commutative, we can write like this also LCM of x comma y is nothing but d into b into a and now d into b is nothing but y. So we can say that LCM of x comma y is multiple of y also. So using this two, we can say that LCM is multiple of x 
as well as LTPL, LCM is multiple of water. So in other words, we have established that whatever we are getting from this, the answer will be multiple of x as well as y. In other words, the answer will be common multiple of x and y. So now only thing which is remaining is we need to show that this common multiple is nothing but least common multiple. So in order to sh show that, uh, if you can observe then in this equation the variable is only GCD. right? So if you want to decrease the value of this LCM then you need to increase the value of GCD. But this is not possible because GCD is nothing but greatest common divisor and we have already uh, shown that uh, D is the GCD. So it's not possible to change this particular value so we can't increase the value of GCD so we can't decrease the value of this com uh, common multiple and hence whatever we are getting that, that particular value is least. So let's uh, focus on the implementation part. Uh, so we are going to write a code for LCM and in that we are going to use this particular existing code of GCD. This code we have already discussed in the previous tutorial. So now for in order to compute LCM first we need to check this particular condition otherwise LCM is not defined. Both the integers x as well as y must be greater than 0. Now what we will do we will save the multiplication of x and y in integer a let's say and then we will check whether x is greater than y or not if x is greater than y then we will call gcd of x comma y and otherwise we will call gcd of y comma x we are doing this just to make sure that the first value of the first parameter is greater than value of the second parameter because this is the condition for this particular function so that's why we are changing the order depending upon the which value is the larger value and now ultimately we need to use the equation which we have just proved so according to that particular equation our answer is nothing but a by b so we want our answer in integer so that's why i'm using int so return a by b so let's verify this so let's say i want to calculate lcm of 3 comma 9 so lcm of 3 comma 9 is 9 lcm of 3 comma 15 is 15 so let me take some different large values okay so and so on thank you subscribe to my channel for more videos